Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And today I'm going to show you how you can draw that yummy macarons in Adobe Illustrator. And if you're interested, then keep watching. This is size of my rock space and these are colors which I'm going to use in my tutorial and if you want to take a closer look at my design and to download an original vector file with colors and my design, you can do it on my Patreon page, the link will be below this tutorial. And guys, if you want to start sell your designs online, for example on Adobe Stock or Shutterstock, when I invite you to meet with my new book, 50 Easy Ideas, it's a book for a beginner designers who wants to start sell their designs online, as I already said. And if you want to know more about my book, you can go below that tutorial and you will find the link on my book below the tutorial. And as well, here you can find video instruction about my book and my 10,000 portfolio on Adobe Stock. Okay, guys, let's start the tutorial. Hope your workspace is ready and colors are already in the swatches panel. Let's take that color and rectangle tool and let's create the background. Like that. Now let's take a light gray color and ellipse tool and we need to create the ellipse with the size 506 to 127. Okay. Now let's take white color and again ellipse tool and let's create the ellipse with the size 862 to 238. Put here. And now let's create the last ellipse with light gray color. The size will be 715 to 180. Okay. Put here. The plate is ready. Select all elements and align them. Now uh, let's take one more green color and ellipse tool and create here the ellipse. It will be the plate shadow and send back background and the shadow. Okay, you can make it a little longer. And now let's take green color and ellipse tool and create the ellipse with the size 316 to 184. Okay, move the ellipse here. Now copy and paste twice this ellipse, one of the copy a little up. Now select both copies, Pathfinder minus front and take that green color. Now you can stay it like that or you can play with this shape a little with the help of uh, adding more points at anchor point tool. And add one more point here, now direct selection tool and make the shape a little unperfect. It will be more interesting effect than uh, the shapes are a little uh, unperfect. Okay, uh, now let's take dark green color and let's create a one more element with the help of pen tool. Let's start here. Okay. And now move here. Okay. 
now you can close the path move that point a little closer to the light green ellipse and now if you like you can take for example curvature tool and play with their points or you can do the help of um, direct selection tool uh, let's move a little up the shape and let's take direct selection tool and round these corners a little now now let's select the shape dark green shape copy and paste it and move it a little up now let's take that color let's play a little with the shape you can make it a little wider for example for example let it be here and as well you can add some points or just uh, uh, take um, direct selection tool and play with the points we have here or take curvature tool and play with the points so make the shape a little unperfect like this you of course can stay it uh, perfect but when the shape uh, unperfect it looks more interesting uh, let's take light color and again pen tool and let's draw here the filling of our macaron it's uh, just like wavy shape like cream so you can make like me or make on your own way Okay, let's close the path. Now let's select the first shape and uh, let's use that brush, its basic brush, to make the shape more unperfect. And the same here. You see now the shapes uh, looks more interesting. The shapes look more interesting. You can move the points till you like the result, like that. Okay, now let's uh, copy and paste like light green ellipse and bring it to front. Move up. Okay, guys, now it's almost looks like macaron. Let's around the corner here with direct selection tool and now let's add the highlights and shadows to uh, the top of um, our macaron if you like you can move, move the top a little down or stay it like this so as you like okay now copy and paste twice that green ellipse one of the copy up select both copies the finder minus front and dark green color again copy and paste twice that light green ellipse one of the copy more up select both copies the finder minus front and that green color uh, now copy and paste again that ellipse make it smaller and squeeze it like that a little up take that color and here this uh, transparency 21 
or 20 as you like okay now copy and paste again twice that green ellipse and one of the copy up and the second copy up like that select both copies for finder minus front now take white color uh, sorry now make it uh, a little smaller like this and take that white color with transparency 21 and here you can run the corner uh, with help of a smooth tool like that okay move here rotate you can make it longer like this okay now you can take um, let's rotate a little no let's back it here now let's take white color and curvature tool and create here some ellipses with help of curvature tool okay now select ellipses and the transparency will be 21 okay it's ready now take that color and add some little ellipses here okay and a little here it's ready now select the macaron and group it now hold out and make the copy rotate it move here now select both macarons and move them to the center of the plate uh, now let's take dark green color and ellipse tool and create here the ellipse it will be the shadow rotate okay now let's make it short a little and you can play with the shadow uh, for example with the help of direct selection tool move this point for example here and that point a little down and let's move that point point a little more down like that okay and you can change the transparency to 70% it's great now you can change the color to the pink okay it's ready and the same here we need to change colors to pink uh, now let's add uh, some shadow below the macarons let's take dark gray color and create the ellipse here move the macarons to front okay uh, now move the shadow 
a little down okay it's ready and now let's add here one more ellipse move the macarons to front a little play with the ellipse okay now let's uh, take white color and pen tool and draw some hearts here Uh, let's select the heart, make it a little smaller. Now hold Alt and make the copy. Make it smaller. And one more copy. Rotate. Make it more smaller. Okay. And now let's take brush tool with this option, okay? And later we will need basic brush, but now let's draw here some details like that. And one more here. Now rotate a little the details like that. Okay, now select all elements, take basic brush, the size will be, let it be 7, and stroke, take that shape, uh, let it be here 5, it will be better. Okay, it's ready, and the last detail, again take brush tool and draw here something like this it will be the bubble select it change stroke to fill and let's uh, take now text tool okay the size will be 100 for now and let's write yummy now let's go to uh, swatches and take the color of the background and that font you will find it below this tutorial create outlines make Rotate it like that. Select both shapes and rotate them. Okay, now select the whole design, move it a little down like that. Okay, guys, our design is ready. Hope you like my tutorial. If yes, give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in Adobe Illustrator or in the next videos about a graphic design. Bye bye guys. Bye.